long ago it must be, I have a photograph. Preserve your memories. They're all that's left you. What's the price on that? Huh? That's $54. Everybody, I am so happy to see you today. Thank you so much for coming back and seeing me and Desi. I hope you had a wonderful week. Did you miss me? I missed you. <laughs> I mean, last week I did the thrifting video and those are my favorite videos to do, but I don't get a chance to kind of sit down and chat with you and hold Desi and chat and so I missed you, and I know a few of you out there said, you know, well, I kind of missed seeing Desi, you know, what'd you do with him, you know? <laughs> so it's wonderful to be here today, and you know, there's a couple things I want to do today. And one is I want to share with you my month of August and, and some of the favorites that I had this summer and in August, some of my favorite skincare and uh, eyeshadow palettes and makeup but you know just a, a, a lot of other things that were my favorites in August that I want to share with you and I also want to draw uh, the winners of the giveaway I found a cream that I fell in love with it's Nutri-C it's a collagen vitamin C cream it has grapeseed oil and shea butter in it and argan oil anyway it's kind of a dupe for a very expensive cream so three of you are going to win that cream. I'm going to send it right to your house. So I'm going to draw the winners in a little while, and I am excited to do that. But I'm so glad you're here today, and I want to share with you my August favorites. And let's do this and have a little fun. In August, I found a beautiful uh, oil, a rose oil for my legs, for my decollete, for my arms that I fell in love with. The company is called Enter the Garden and, and they do all these lovely, gorgeous, beautiful rose oils that you can use just all over. And not only do you get this the most beautiful hydration, but there's not a person alive who wouldn't love how this makes you smell. It is so beautiful. It's that faint whiff of roses. Now, if you don't like roses, I guess you wouldn't like this but it just melts in, into your body. It just, it made my legs this summer just, it just, it made my legs just shine it, and I just loved it. And, and just to know that you're getting a twofer here, you know, not only is your skin shining, okay, well maybe it's a threefer. Not only is your skin shining, but you smell so beautiful. Plus, look at these bottles. You know, to display, you know, in the sun, four, five, six of these bottles of oil. I mean, it's, I mean, I've been doing that. And it's just so beautiful. So I, I had to mention it. August is this coffee scrub and this is a new one that I got off of Amazon and this is not the coffee is not coupled with sugar it's coupled uh, with sea salt scrub so this is uh, geared more towards your body so I don't know what it is with me and body in August but anyway <laughs> I, I wanted to order this because I read reviews about how coffee not only is a wonderful uh, physical exfoliant because it's rough, especially if you mix it with sugar or uh, sea salt, 
but the acid in coffee acts as a chemical exfoliant. So that's why you're so much softer and brighter and it just takes the dead skin cells on your body and your face and forget about it. <laughs> you know, after using this coffee scrub in August, I started to wear shorts. I felt like my legs looked smoother and it made me feel really, really good. These are by Olivia Grace and uh, one is caramel and one is pumpkin. And these are hand washes. And what I love to do in the fall is take two of these, uh, and they have it in other flavors too, but for fall, you know, pumpkin and caramel, and, um, and they have one in apple, and I put one on each side of the sink. So it's just kind of this explosion of like hand wash, you know, that is fall-like. So I just think it's very cheerful and very sweet. And Olivia Grace, uh, the way she makes her product smell, I think is just beautiful. I have to include this nail polish one more time because you ask every week uh, what color my nail polish is. So this is uh, a gel nail polish and it's called Tea Time. I'll list it below. Um, I believe this is by LA Colors. And I just put an OPI top coat over it and I love it. I get lots of compliments on it. It's kind of like a Colorado red. It's kind of sexy? <laughs> Youthful? <laughs> Mormon? I don't know. You know, something that I changed in August that became a quick favorite is my rosehip seed oil. I, I started using the Acure rosehip seed oil and I've always used Oracasio. I like rosehip oil coming from uh, Chile, but this one I just absolutely love it. The scent is very, very strong and it is extremely, it's it, the formula that they're using is, it seems extremely stable and emollient and I just love it. So I just wanted to say I love Aracasio rosehip seed oil, but I really love the Acure rosehip seed oil too. And I did want to quick mention too, if you are ever in Marshalls or TJ Maxx and you see a bottle that says rosehip seed oil, please, I don't mean to tell you what to do, but don't buy it. Uh, make sure that either you're going to order uh, something from Amazon that is cold pressed, that is, that, you know, it's a new batch that they've made, but something that has a quality to it that, uh, has an aroma that is is very strong. A lot of times when you see rosehip seed oil in something like TJ Maxx and you open it up and it smells like roses, you never want to put anything on your face that smells like roses. You're going to want it to smell woodsy like rosehip seed oil. So I did want to quick mention that to you. You know, I think one of the hardest things I do after 60 is find a beautiful foundation that is going to make me look uh, even toned, uh, give me a beautiful finish, uh, but not go into my lines or pores, make me look like a clown. Um, you know, something that is going to last and not oxidize. And I found that in the CYO foundation, cool undertones and the way the light hits it, it's just beautiful. It's a beautiful $7 foundation, <laughs> but they're not making it anymore. But you all wrote me and Monica from the channel, uh, Monica's uh, Beauty and Lifestyle, you all told me that the real dupe for it is the Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Foundation and you were 100% right. It is almost an exact dupe. I did them side by side for three days straight. Alright, so this is the CYO side. Alright, we're going to do the Soap and Glory side. They are basically the same makeup, but I think the Soap and Glory side just feels thicker. It's the same kind of cheap packaging, only this was six, seven dollars from CYO, and this is 13. So, I mean, I'm happy and I'm sad. What can I say? It is, it's a makeup that I love, but you know, I, I'm still going to go out there and, and try to find, you know, my holy grail foundation. And this is very close. 
You know, it wouldn't be a favorites video unless I brought you a couple new lipsticks that I'm absolutely in love with. I've been wearing it all day. This is the Essence, uh, I believe it's Raleigh 04. Don't you want to wear a lipstick called Crazy? <laughs> well, that's what this is. This is one of my new favorite lipsticks. It's by Essence. It's 04 called Crazy. And I, I just love it. I, I just think it's so pretty for fall. one I got is by Essence and it's 07 and this one of course has a lot of drama with it. Uh, I was looking for a lipstick that was kind of bold and dark without being too uh, goth and I like this. Uh, I think this is pretty classy if you had the right dress and the right party to go to. <laughs> Two favorite uh, fall eyeshadow palettes and I, I bring them out in August because it's going to take me a couple weeks of working with them again uh, to get them down right. You know I do have some very expensive eyeshadow palettes but I ended up using the Maybelline Lemonade palette all summer long <laughs> and now that it's fall I've switched over to its little companion uh, the Soda Pop uh, palette and you know, the reason I love this is, is this color, this is um, uh, Coca Float, and I just, I love that color for fall. It goes with a lot of different uh, lid colors, so I, I just think it's so pretty. Another palette that I love for fall, and that is the Milani. Milani has these are like high-end shadows. This one is a Bold Obsessions. What other palette can you get that has these amazing fall colors? And this is, you know, this is like the best dupe for the Viseart palette ever. You know, I loved my summer. I loved my August. I got to do so, so many wonderful things and I got to bring you along with me much of the time. I got to bring my camera. One of those things that I loved in summer is my friend Bob would pick me up and we would go to thrift stores or antique stores and I fell in love with all that again. <laughs> Well, I hope you like some of my favorites for August. And, you know, a couple weeks ago, I had a giveaway. And I'm going to draw the winners right now. And there's going to be three of you to win. So good luck to everybody. Um, this is a fabulous product that you're going to win. This is uh, by Nutri-C. And this is collagen and vitamin C. Argon oil. Uh, you're just, you're going to love it. He loves it. <laughs> Here we go, random comment picker, three winners. All right, Pat A, pick a winner. At home with Lady Phoenix, Carol Ann DeBerry. I can't sleep tonight. I put together two quiche pies. This one is broccoli and this one is spinach. I've got a lot of Swiss cheese in there and mushrooms and onions. Yeah, I'm gonna cook it for an hour at 350 degrees. And gosh, it's 2.30 in the morning. These aren't going to be ready until 3.30. Wow. I can wait. In 1963, I was eight years old, and I took that picture of my grandfather. He passed away in 1965. But he gave me my first camera, and he always told me, don't just capture the person, capture the shadows in the light, because there's magic there. And I think he was right. Isn't she a beauty? Uh, this is a brownie Hawkeye. Uh, this is a camera that was so popular in the 50s and 60s. And this is the first camera that I ever took a picture on, the, a camera just like this. And I was so excited that last Saturday I found this at, a, at, at an antique store and I couldn't buy it fast enough. But, you know, when I was six years old, now my grandfather had many, many cameras. He loved taking pictures. 
he was a carpenter but he loved taking pictures and he gave me this camera a, a brownie camera and he taught me how to load it and he sent me out and said go ahead and take your pictures and bring them back to me and I was so excited I mean so excited because you know I had been watching him take pictures forever but the rest of the family wasn't happy that he gave me this beautiful camera they they said you know you don't give a six-year-old a camera why are you spoiling her she's gonna drop it she's gonna lose it you know why are you doing that pop why are you giving her a camera and he just laughed he just laughed and he said she needs one so now she's got one my grandfather died when I was 10 years old and I inherited all his cameras especially the ones that he gave me a couple years later when I was 12 years old Simon and Garfunkel came to my city and I loved them I knew every song and every lyric and I was certain that I was gonna grow up to marry Art Garfunkel I just knew it and I knew if he saw me and our eyes met I knew he would know it too so I loaded up my brownie I brought two cameras with me and the one brownie that I had I had an attachment where it held something to hold a bulb so I could do flash photography so there I was at the Civic Auditorium and I'm inching my way up to the stage because they're starting to sing sounds of silence and I'm losing my mind and I get my camera right up and I push the button and the flash goes off and uh oh Paul Simon stopped he stopped singing sound of silence and he was so angry that I had taken flash photography that he started talking about the agony of his life and how much he suffered to write the song sounds of silence and how I should be removed from the auditorium because it was so rude to take flash photography anyway long story short too late there I was escorted out you know I'm all alone I'm 12 years old those are my heroes and they throw me out so I'm in the hallway you'd think I'd be crying right I wasn't crying oddly because I was a crier then but I wasn't crying number one I had captured a wonderful moment with my camera and number two I figured people on the other side of the auditorium they never really got a good look at me maybe I can sneak in to the other side <laughs> and I did and I got away with it I snuck in with my camera I took the flash attachment off and I just took pictures but I finished the concert I looked at art and art looked at me <laughs> nothing but still that glorious night taking the last bus home I looked down and it was one of the happiest times of my life I looked at my camera and I thought I captured it I captured Art and Paul singing sounds of silence and that meant everything and I said thank you grandpa thank you grandpa thank you for this gift And years and years and years later every single day that I go out and I take a picture for Instagram or I take a picture of my grandson or I get to film a video for you I look up to the heaven and I say thank you grandpa Thank you for sending me all my bow ties. Thank you. See, Desi? Can you see? Can you see all the people? Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I hope you liked the video. And congratulations to the three ladies that won the giveaway. And
And for everybody else, thank you so much for entering and thank you so much for, for being here. And there's going to be other giveaways too. So please have yourself a wonderful brand new week. And when you're done with your week, come back and see me and Desi, okay? All right. <laughs> it's a deal. Time it was and what a time it was. A time of innocence and a time of confidences. Long ago, it must be, I have a photograph. Preserve your memories, for they're all that's left you. <laughs>